What are you looking at? It's something called IB Flix. Hmm. I didn't hear anything about that on Twitter. Stupid bird. Okay, so today class, we're going to be watching a video that I found through some meticulous searching. Several other teachers wanted it, but I had a gun, so what could they do? <laughs> I eventually just ran out, but I went back and paid for it, because it's the right thing to do. Okay, so here's the video. Okay, so look at how stupid these kids are. I asked them why did the United States enter World War I, and they wrote down things like the sinking of the Titanic and the sinking of Lithuania. Really? They sunk an entire nation? And when I asked them a question about why the United States entered World War II, they wrote down Pearl Harbor. Well, like, what about it? It's a harbor. It had been there before. And it just made me so upset. Turn your phone off, whoever that is. I think it's coming from outside. Mr. President. I'll finally get to retire. All right, guys, here's the game plan for today. If you look at the board, you see that the objective is properly writing a counter argument. As the IB manual says, Students should present differing viewpoints in order to create a better developed essay. This is the best case I can make for you to write a counter argument. If you made a six or higher on the paper three, you may come sign the wall of fame at this time. Okay class, we're going to take notes. Remember, the left side of your spiral is only for classwork and extra credit. So, as the war was coming to a close, it became evident that the South... I don't know why students don't read for the reading quizzes. They think they can just go to apushsummaries.com when really they should be going to kymgs.com. And who do these kids think they are anyway? Why do they think they can come in and plug in their devices to the school's electricity? That electricity doesn't belong to the students, it belongs to the district. These kids should have charged their phones at home. Hello, you've reached Melissa Kahn? My hockey box seats are in? Class, I'll be right back. Stupid computer. Are you a terrorist? Guess we'll find out. I didn't do it? Oh, Kute, looks like you're called to the counselor's office. Kuteng isn't here today. Skipping my class, huh? Looks like someone didn't do the lab analysis that was due today. Good morning, Garland High School. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't forget to congratulate Ms. Tisdale for getting all of the IV stuff coordinated. Gigamels. Okay, it's time for the circular motion lab. All right, the lab analysis is due on Thursday, and don't forget about uncertainty. No crying in physics. Hey, Mr. Lenz, did I just use the data from the lab to prove my hypothesis? If you put prove in your paper, that's, how should I say, wrong. Use your data to support your evidence. Otherwise, I'll have to put the ha-ha-ha no stamp on your paper. Not your forehead. Well, maybe your forehead if I'm annoyed. Also, hey guys, realize something. The error bars on your graph are not visible because of the scale you've set. So, they actually are visible. Nice try. Oh, it's time for my speed skating tournament. Everyone, have a nice weekend, but not too nice. You have homework. Jesse, step forward. 
I prepared a buffer solution of ethonic acid and sodium hydroxide for you. This is terrible! Really, 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 really terrible! There are people in Morocco who know nothing about chemistry, nothing about chemistry, <laughs> and can still prepare a better solution than you. Maybe, maybe if I gave you the instructions in French, you would be able to do this. Oh my gosh. Okay, here are our two finalists. Good job, good job. Timothy, put on your goggles! And for the next round of Fraction Feud, the category is Fears. What are we not afraid of? Fractions. Raul, 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 did I call on you? You're correct, but unfortunately you blurted out the answer. Point goes to Team Dad. No points for Swim Shady. Um, Miss O'Keefe, I think his name's actually pronounced Raul. Okay, so that makes it go from 76 mistakes to 77? Um, Miss Driscoll, you already said his name three times. Yeah, and actually, I think you were supposed to bring us ice cream like two class periods ago, so I think that's like 23 mistakes now. Oh, well I guess if you spend that much time on my homework, you might pass my test. Okay guys, let's get started. Does anyone have any questions on the homework? Okay, let's start with number seven. Uh, what was number seven? Sine x over cosine x. Wait, Miss Hamilton? Yes? Didn't you go to Colorado this weekend? You know, as a matter of fact, I did. We went to Crested Butte for the 19th time. I went skiing with my daughter. We saw there were these gorgeous flowers all over the place. Like, you would never have believed it. We did, well, okay, have I told you the story about that one time, well, it wasn't one time, about... And in chapter 24, beloved Denver really grows as a character. Iffy, put your phone away. So what I want you guys to do as groups is I want you to make a drawing of what you think this represents in the novel and how it relates to real life events, okay? Maddie, you look different here. Jesse, what is that? Is that a banana? No. No bananas in my classroom. All right, guys, let's present. Who's first? Jordan? Uh, well, in chapter 24, we see Denver growing as a character because she leaves home for the first time. So I, I see how you can think that. Um, but what I think is, oh, excuse me. Yes, this is she. What? I'm on my way. Sorry guys, I have to go. Ginger and Wyatt are sick. Remember, your annotations are due next time. Bye guys, stay off of Twitter. The two French teachers return to their natural habitat, the classroom of Garland High School, where they greet their students lovingly. Stop talking, time is short, put away your phones. Time is very, very short. Bonjour, class. Vous avez passé un bon week-end? Oui, mademoiselle. D'accord. Tu dois prendre un grosse verre maintenant. J'espère que tu regardes le site web. Bon. All of a sudden, their territory is interrupted by a visitor. Salut, Marcel. Merci. Well, the unsuspecting aides try to return to their homeland, the office. Avignon pounces. Hi, this is for someone in your class. Who are you? Catherine Lines. Catherine Lines. Yeah. Why not Catherine Dots? I, I don't know. I don't make the decisions for it. Sorry. Très bien. Ciao. It may come as no surprise that the two have very different approaches to the other animals once introduced. Bonjour, Monsieur Hamster. Comment ça va? Ça va bien. Ouais? Regardez, mademoiselle, il y a un chat. <gasps> C'est mignon! Jaden, are you sleeping? I'm going to make salami out of your pet pig if you are sleeping. You sleep, Casey. However, they are both always hunting for a mistake to prey on. Pourquoi vous ne conjuguez pas dans le bois possible? 
You are intellectuals. You do not make mistake. But someone make mistake, so I scream. Who is the teacher? I'm the teacher. No, you are the teacher because you are all intellectuals. Pourquoi tu ne parles jamais en français aux élèves? Relax. It is no big deal. Mais il est nécessaire pour des examens de BI. But they are intellectuals. They would be fine. Bueno, sacar sus libros de texto. Vamos a trabajar en la actividad 74. ¿Dónde está tu libro? Uh, at home. Dame un momento. Can I go to the bathroom? ¿Qué? ¿Puedo ir al baño? Ah, claro que sí. ¿Tienes tu ID? No. Uh, lo siento, no puede dejarte salir. Entregan sus papeles, por favor. Gracias. ¿Qué es esto? Papel. Tenemos tijeras. No es difícil. Eh, I've seen better. I wish they focused more on the teachers being friends with each other. So, Mr. Wisner, the other day I had one of my aides go around and count parking spots. And you know, if you want people to like stop leaving campus, you know, then you could actually get rid of the senior parking lot and make that faculty only and have everyone park. I had one of my aides count.